Australian skipper Pat Cummins saying that losing the match in Delhi hurt the team more because they were ahead in the game at one stage. Now India is very close to reaching the World Test Championship final, curtsy their spinners. 16 wickets uh, snared bit by uh, Ravindra Jadeja and Ravi Ashwin in this match. At this hour, I'm joined by my two experts on the show, Prakash Vakankar, sports uh, commentator and broadcaster, as well as cricket expert uh, Anis Sajan. Prakash, let me come to you. Can India, uh, who's at the verge of reaching the World Test Championship final, be as imposing in Oval? Uh, well, there's no reason why India can't dominate the Oval. India have won uh, multiple games there. Yes, it's not as dominating a record as uh, 42 wins out of 44 in 10 years at home, uh, for sure. But uh, the reality is that this Indian team has a variety. Uh, and remember, India still doesn't have Jaspreet Bumrah, who hopefully mm -hmm. will be fit by the time the uh, WTC final comes along, assuming that India do qualify. Uh, while it's all looking very rosy at the moment, cricket is an interesting game. And as they say, uh, nothing's done till it's done. But India can certainly win overseas. They've shown it ample times. And therefore, they will want to try and get to the final and have a different result from the last time around when they played the final against New Zealand. Anis, let me ask you, um, Ravindra Jadeja, what did he not do yesterday on the second day of the match that he did today? Well, honestly, Rika, he did not bowl well yesterday. And today, if you ask me what he did, it was Ashwin who did all the damage in the earlier part. And uh, sometimes you say, even if you don't bowl well, you still get through it. But he's a type of bowler, you know, who bowls wicket to wicket and you miss and you hit. That's what he was doing. And let's let's put it in a very uh, nice way for uh, Ravindra Jadeja. You know, Australians were probably feeling there was a lot of dust on the wicket. So they're trying to sweep and clear the dust. And that's caused the downfall for Australians. Uh, but, uh, Prakash, would you also say it is the pace at which Jadeja bowls that uh, caught the Australians off guard? Well, I think uh, Jadeja has variations in his pace, like any good bowler will, especially a spinner. But I think the, the fact of the matter, Rika, is uh, Australia mentally disintegrated. I think they came out with the idea that they were going to sweep their way out of trouble, as it were. And some of the choice of shots from even as experienced players as Steve Smith were appalling. If you look at the dismissal of uh, Pat Cummins, their captain, I think it sums it all up. First ball, hike to lose his stumps. And I think that's the reality of the situation. Australia came with a plan which they built on what Travis Head did so well last evening. But not everyone is Travis Head. Not uh, every day is the same day of the week. And it just came completely unraveled. And that puts them in a very awkward situation, 2 nil down. And no real answers to the pair of Ashwin and Jadeja. Now, um, Anis, let me ask you about the sweep shot that both of you have been talking about. Usman Khwaja, it seems, uh, he played the shot well at one point. Australia also gathered quite a bit of runs. But would you say that they everyone tried to replicate what Khwaja was doing and that led to their downfall? Very much, Rika. I was hearing Ian Chappell, the great Ian Chappell, talking about that uh... Who says that you can sweep uh, if you are not a good sweeper? Like what he was trying to say, and I totally endorse that if you are not good at sweeping, you don't try doing that. You are not sure about your defense. That's why you're trying this shot. It's not easy to sweep. You've got to be a natural sweeper to do that. And Usman Khwaja, if you see, he got out both the times sweeping. So that could have probably been a lesson. And the way Manas was playing, uh, he was playing Jadeja off the front foot. The moment he won on the back foot, he got out. And you're talking about Smith, uh, he rarely plays a sweep shot and he tried that shot and he got out. So I'm afraid the sweep proved to be a downfall. Uh, easier said than done, you know, coaches sometimes they say that if you sweep in India, you get successful. But you really need to be a good player. I believe you should use your feet more, which the players like Manas has showed in this uh, series. Right, the Australians swept away in Kotla there. Uh, let me come to you, uh, Prakash. Uh, uh, you know, besides uh, sweep being the reason for Australia's downfall, would you say that when it comes to the Delhi test, because the way they had lost Nagpur, they had not gathered themselves? The Aussies had not got gathered themselves coming into Delhi? Uh, to the contrary, Rika. I thought that uh, whatever work they did in uh, thinking post-Nagpur, 
uh, and the way they came and batted in the first innings, particularly Kwaja and Pete Hanscom, uh, with some support from Lavashain as well. I thought they 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 did very very well uh, in the sense to put two sixty three on the board to reduce India to seven down for one thirty nine. They were ahead of the game. Make no mistake about it. Even after the fight back by India and what they did last night. Uh, and started the day at 61 for one, went up to 86 for two. It looked as if Australia were going to make India really fight. They'll get to 250 maybe, set a target like that, pick up a few wickets. We thought it could be a tight game. And some of us, very frankly, in quiet voices, were even wondering whether we might have a great result for the series, which means Australia win, and then there's everything to play for. But the way Australia's castle crumbled, Mm -hmm. uh, is something that they will have to reflect on long and hard. And as I said earlier, the innings by both Hanscom and Kwaja was on a day one pitch. Today was day three. When the ball is right. not bouncing, when mm -hmm. it's generally keeping low, mm -hmm. you do not employ the sweep, sweep, even if you are a very good player of the sweep shot, because it increases the risk. Australia surprisingly didn't think of it. And they paid the price. Six of their wickets fell sweeping in the right. second innings. Now, Prakash, at the end of two such convincing wins, normally we don't talk about worries for the team that has won. If uh, you were to pin down one of India's big worry, what would that be at this stage? I'll, I have a concern and a solution. Very simple. Play Gil for Rahul. You can't keep that young lad out in the form that he is in. Uh, KL Rahul has had ample opportunities. I've got nothing against the, the player. He's a very good player in white ball cricket. He's had his chances. Yes, he was unfortunate. You could argue in both innings to be out the way he got out. But uh, you've got to get Gil in. And I think with, with a player like Gil at mm -hmm. the top, you, you're plugging that one little weakness that you have. Other than that, I don't see any challenge at all for Team India going forward at Indoor. We'll have to wait and see how long a rope uh, Rahul Dravid is prepared to give Kale Rahul, thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining me.